uh, I've been told that I uh, ask the question of the night exactly the same way, so uh, tonight... Uh, anybody got a question? Pick me, pick me. Yeah, I'll watch you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, the question I have is, like, different places have different time slots and how much, how much time they give you for that. But should I be working like on like a certain set amount of time or like I don't know do, do I pick a longer one a shorter one do I, I I don't know do I blend them what what do I do Yes <laughs> <laughs> So the, the, the tra there's there's a traditional series of numbers to work on that seem to be reoccurring numbers okay So first when you're a beginner like this you're really looking at, at the 3 5 and 10 because when you go to open mics or even shorter shows and people just want to see if you're funny or it's an open mic, you get three a lot of times. And many times you can get a five. So you want to make sure that you have this three that works and this five that works. Okay. Now, if they, if they see if you're a couple, or a couple of times or once or you can bring people, <laughs> they'll give you ten. Okay. So, oh, good. Now, so... The, the idea is, though, is it's kind of a progression, and that's what I take everybody out. That's why the first time you work with me, the beginners get three minutes. You're working on that three-minute show, and then you're working on that five-minute show. And if you stay with me uh, uh, for a while, I move you further toward the front of the show so that you're dealing with a more so a sober crowd, <laughs> and I give you ten. Or you work well after you do that. Then I let you be the headline. I let you close our showcases with ten. Okay. So in my class, we're literally working on three, five, and ten. Okay. So once you hit that ten, then you keep adding to that, and then you're kind of looking for twenty. That's usually a range that, that that's a really good. But the ultimate place that you're really, as a beginner, after the first really big goal is thirty minutes worth of material. Because that's the point at which uh, club owners will actually look at your DVD or click on the link because you have three, uh, you have you have thirty minutes contiguous, not edited, straight through one show, and they're not going to look at it. <laughs> they're going to be busy typing and working on stuff and listening to it. They'll look at it at first to make sure you don't look like a troll. <laughs> And they go, oh, okay, they look okay, and then they'll listen to them and go, oh, those are good jokes, you know, and blah, 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 work, and so on and so forth, and then if they like it, uh, give you a call and give you a shot, maybe as an opener uh, someplace, and doing 15 minutes. The reason they want 30 is because they know their audience, and they need to be able to say these particular bits might not work. Okay, so, um, so the amount of minutes you're building toward is that. And as beginners, though, what you're really looking for, especially at the level that you guys are and that I teach most of the time, which is three, five, and ten. Okay. You get to the point where you can do a good ten. If you stay in class, you'll get to that 30 really quickly. Uh, but that's always up to you. I don't pressure anybody to stay in the classes. But so... Uh, if you want to look good every time you go out so that it, it doesn't matter if it's an open mic or a booked room of some kind, uh, and especially if you go to one of the major clubs where you could be seen by somebody important, you're going to want to make sure you have a really good and tight and well put together 3, 5, and 10. <laughs>